This video brought to you by Weatherworks XMWX Satellite Weather and by the Bose Headset 10. More pilots trust XMWX Satellite Weather than any other satellite delivered weather service. Known for its accuracy and reliability, XMWX Satellite Weather is leading the way to fly for pilots around the country, in flight and every flight. Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb. Aspen Avionics wowed Sun and Fun last year with the introduction of its Evolution aftermarket glass system. This year, Aspen announced three new features for its products that will solve minor problems that some owners have encountered. One of those is the ability to mount the displays side by side in a flush rather than a surface mount. Here's Aspen's Doug Kane to explain. What the flush mount kit lets you do is mount one, two, or three of our, our tubes from behind the panel uh, so that it's flush with the instrument panel and our kit provides the structural support for that in a certified way that's very easy for a dealer to install without having to get stru separate structural designs or approvals. Owners of attitude-based autopilots found that the Aspen system lacked the attitude pickoff found in traditional gyros so they had to retain the AI somewhere in the airplane. Aspen is addressing that with new digital pickoffs. Attitude-based autopilots uh, typically require pickoffs from the attitude indicator that the pilot's been flying behind. So when you move to glass and you replace even the need for the backups with dual electronic ones, uh, unless you have a means to drive the autopilot by those systems, you still need to keep the mechanical indicator in the airplane. Therefore, Aspen's developing an optional add-on that will enable the electronic attitude system inside our EFD-1000 system to drive autopilots directly. We're starting with replacements of the uh, Bendix King Ki-256 that drives the Bendix King family of autopilots and subsequent versions will add other popular GA autopilots. Finally, one problem in fitting older aircraft with new avionics is the digital analog divide. Here's Doug Kane again to explain a new product Aspen has developed to address this issue. Okay, our Pro PFD normally comes standard with this analog converter unit or ACU which is how we interface to analog systems like the autopilot and uh, VHF navigation radios and many customers have asked for additional capabilities from this such as putting out heading to uh, legacy traffic and weather systems that require analog heading inputs whereas we only provide digital today so a new version of this ACU will have additional connectors might be a little bit larger than this and it will add first support for analog XYZ synchro heading output as it's called and a subsequent version early next year will especially for our international customers add support for dual ADF and DME receivers. Presented by Bose Aviation Headset 10, voted number one for the eighth consecutive year in Professional Pilot's 2008 Annual Headset Preference Survey. Today's Aviation Headset 10 delivers a highly acclaimed combination of noise reduction, clearer audio, and comfort that remains unmatched. Learn more at Bose.com headset.